Sunday morning, feeling much better again today. Rob's just wired up the last of the lights on the 936. I'm just going to start the Zerion up, leave it warming up, and then we're going to go off to the Chungku restaurant, which is basically just before the Albert Dock in Liverpool, and they're doing a collection there for the food bank. And then I think we're going to take it over to, as a convoy with some of the classic cars that will be there for the Cathedral in Liverpool. Head back here, bike to eat, stuff like that. Then tonight, half four, we're going to go to the children's hospital with a couple of the tractors, park them outside for any children that are too sick on the night to come out and see when there's loads of people can come and have a look tonight and have a look at them there then. Zerion, minus three, cold start. There we go. Always think it's never gonna start, but apparently it's cat ECU doesn't. Oh, I hate this new phone. The cat ECU doesn't let the the engine fire until the oil's got up to the head, so it like lets the oil pressure build up first. 936 now out of the shed. All the black lights are working as they should. It's um, if you're an electrician, look away now because all of this is IP60 rated. But it's not raining. We've got a blue sky. We might have to wrap it in plastic bags during the week if it's going to be rain next week. Yeah, looks great. I think the trailer looks like there's got a bit too much weight on it. Looks like it's buckled. But, um, looks far better in the dark than it does in the daylight. But what we can do about that? The heater in this area on is awesome. I started the tractor, left it on, set it to 20 degrees. Oh, it's toast. Great to stop at Aldi to get some food for the food bank. The uh, Father Christmas on that has gone a little bit slack. Drop below that, it's like a snow plant. Good day for it then, anyway, with the sun out. No one's brought the classics though, calling them rusty. And the Land Rover's ventured out. How many shopping bags can you fit in a Yaris? It's pretty full that. I think that's us. It's a little bit tight at the cathedral. We just led the convoy with all the food bank donations because they store them underneath the cathedral. So we're just here now. So we might get a little picture of the tractors outside the cathedral. Amazing blue skies. Uh, Rob's turned his tractor off so the snowman's gone down. Not snowman, Father Christmas. Just unloading everything now in the food bank around the back here. That was a good picture, Norman. You know, wide angle lens, I think. Is he gonna fit? Yeah, easily. To show you this, this was the mustard that was all in flour and uh, what else was with it? Vetch. Anyway, the frost completely killed it off in the last week. Back from cars and coffee, although there wasn't many cars, just a few people benched out in the four wheel drive because obviously no one wanted to get the classic cars, other expensive cars wrapped up in the ice or salt on them or anything like that. Not that I've seen any gritters out. Actually, no, I saw one on the way home, but I think it's the first day out for the gritters. Our yard's not much better. It's quite uh, crunchy. I think we're going to have to scrape some of this off tomorrow because it's it's only Thursday. It's going to get to six degrees. Otherwise, it's about two or three all week. So I think we're going to have ice most of the week. We don't want ice around the yard, but it's the tracks run because we'll have a lot of people walking around and it could be quite slippy. So we'll try and get as much moisture off the yard as possible. And if it does snow again this week, I have to keep brushing it with a bristle brush and put some urea down, but it's very expensive um, to, to melt the ice. We could put salt down, but all that'll do is uh, start rusting all these sheds and everything. So this urea doesn't cause machinery to rust. That's why they use it at airports. But yeah, gonna do the birthdays now quickly, and then we're gonna head towards all the hay. And then by the time we get there, it'll start to be going dark. And there's a few kids gonna come out and see the tractors. And then we'll get back. Get warm again. I am better, but I'm only 80%. But when the other day I was probably feeling 20%. But 
and four times better. But yeah, just tired all the time. So, right, let me do these birthdays. Right, so here we go. Today's birthday bumper. Sam Wilson is 54. Lisa Ackley is 44. Stephen Calder. Isaac McCrum. Finley Bruce. Ben Atkins is 13. And Connor Hayton. Happy birthday, everyone on there and anyone else whose birthday is today. Anyway, need, need your help now. So I was talking to mate Ali on Twitter before. You might be able to see it if you follow me on Twitter. Um, we're talking about last night's TV being absolutely rubbish. So basically, the thing, I watched the last 10 minutes of the England match and um, probably the most interesting 10 minutes of any football match ever. But the um, afterwards, the programme, come on, I can't remember what it was called. I have this comedian, Lee Mackin, and it was absolutely awful. And I watched the first two minutes and thought, how do people even watch this? And anyway, I put something on Twitter about it and loads of people saying, yeah, yeah. I don't know why anyone watches terrestrial TV now because you can watch what you want on YouTube now, when you want it, what you want to watch, when you want to watch it. So Ali was like, yeah, but it's only really young people that are on YouTube. Well, according to my analytics, only 11% of the people watching this video are under 24. So I'd be really interested if you could put your age just to see whether it adds up or whether people are watching on different people's accounts. So yeah, if you just want to do this, we'll just sense check what the, the YouTube analytics is telling me is correct or not. How old are you? You don't have to be Pacific. You, if, you, if you're 25, sorry, no, that's a bad example. <laughs> if you're 53, just put you in your 50s. If you're 60, just put you in your 60s. Just uh, just let us know in the comments so we can see how, how it how true their analytics is and how much YouTube know about their watches as well. That'd be interesting to know as well. Anyway, I'm gonna time lapse on the way to Alder Hay now because it's probably gonna dark on the way, so it might look quite cool. We'll see. just back in the 936 and them lights are off actually which is good so when it goes dark you'll see the black light better food bank vans here as well and there's calf ripped jeans we're all the hay now with the tractors and one of the nurse's dads watches the videos where's he in nottingham <laughs> yeah nottingham paul hi so, dad <laughs> there you go the uh, lads from fan supporting food bank are here with us as well but we're just off to do some stuff now but as it's got darker, the uh, tractors have got brighter. Definitely need more on these wheels though. Not happy about <laughs> them wheels at all. They're just not glowing like they should. Uh, we'll put the snow machine on the back for next week. We didn't have it on this today because there was snow on the ground anyway. Can't really see it now. It's kept, kept well outside here. But yeah, the black light's looking really well on that as well. As well as the tractor pulling sledge on the top. Probably looks better because that light's not on. I don't know whether that's deliberate or it's just not working. But it looks uh, looks better on the camera than in real life, but that's quite dull, that ring round there. This is the hospital. It's got a massive Christmas tree inside. I won't go in because I'm not going to mask on. But a huge Christmas tree there. Goes like up 
at least two stories. Let's get me. Oh, no, I've, right. got, I've got two. There we go. <laughs> Should we leave this bit in the video? Are you, are you ready now? No, stop. Yeah. Start again. <laughs> Don't right. stop. I have, that, I have that many outtakes. This is the bloopers. <laughs> so um, there is no bloopers. Everything makes in the video. So if, if people do want to donate already, even though we've not been on the tractor run yet, it's sext tractor. Two seven zero oh, four five zero, and that'll donate five pounds to Older Hay Children's Charity. There we go. And apparently, last year when we used that, I was disappointed by how much came on the text. But apparently, the people that do the text to donate were made up. Yeah, they had over eight grand came in via text to donate, and they're still using it as an example. They, so, they yeah, used the track from last year as an example of how good it was. Anyway, uh, this year you're saving up for a neonatal. Surgical unit. There, there we go. There we go. Yeah. yeah. So we that's, are that's building where... a brand new neonatal surgical unit, um, one of its kind at Older Hay, um, and all the money we're raising three million pounds towards that. Um, and in a few years' time, Ollie will raise that all on his own. But um, we'll try. Keep texting. Keep donating. Thank you so much on behalf of Older Hay. We will see you all next week, next Sunday. And you lot will see it all stream live as well. And if you do want to donate more, there's a link below this video to the Just Giving page. Anyway. So next week, about this time, we'll come through with 110 tractors along that road there. So not, not the road that the cars are on, it's between where the security guards are stood. We'll come right through the front, past all these windows. And then outside, kids can come outside or on the balconies and watch. If we can see, better for over here actually. Let's walk over here as you see. So we come down that road here past this barrier basically down the wrong the one way the, the wrong way so we come up there along there right past the front of the hospital and then we go back out onto the main road and head to Stanley Park which is where the food bank will be now England have been knocked out the World Cup though, we're looking at maybe if we bring the start time forwards a little bit next week, so it's not too late for the kids. And also we're gonna have a quiet zone. So we're gonna have a, a, about a mile stretch through where the cemetery is actually, aptly, it should be silent anyway. Um, so if anyone's got any, any children that are like scared of loud noises and air horns or baby shark air horns, then they can spectate from that bit then and that'll be like a quiet zone so you'll just see all the lights but with none of the noise because when you get 110 of them half of them have got their horns it's pretty loud for some kids and they get a little bit scared anyway that's probably about all for today i'm gonna stay another hour or so get back and get something to eat um but thanks for watching if you've like if you've made it this far don't forget to click like it really helps the channel and i'll see you all next week it's not next week tomorrow yeah it's next week it's sunday isn't it so tomorrow's the first day of the, the week see you later